Hi, I have to apologize for the quality of this. I do not have my large camcorder hooked up right now. I really apologize for this, but I wanted to talk about something. A lot of people online have said make like tea light or candle heaters out of things like tin cans or uh, ceramic pots. Now, if you're going to use a ceramic pot or something, definitely don't use tea candles, um, tea lights. Get a candle with a much stronger and higher flame. Now, I am experimenting with different ways to improve on these candle uh, heaters or, you know, whatever. I did purchase a hundred pack of Walmart, their mainstay tea lights. Trust me, these candles suck. So, if you want to experiment with these, do not buy the uh, Walmart mainstays. They do not burn very well. The wick burns extremely quick. Now what I have is a small heater. This is made out of two cans, uh, a couple nuts, and a bolt. <coughs> now you can see I have a bunch of big holes drilled in the bottom. And a little bit higher up, basically where the flame is going to be, I have holes drilled. So it can get air and you can see the flame in there now that's not much of a flame now what I did was I take I took a small can and I drill my holes I also have some smaller holes drilled about an inch from the top of this can right here all the way around so the heat can build up in that can and then it comes out about an inch down into this can to warm this can up now basically there's a couple things you have to understand if you're going to make one of these they are not going to put out a lot of heat right now this has been on for pretty close to an hour and it is warm enough that I can touch it and put my hands on it and use it for basically a hand warmer but of course it is also like 60 degrees in here because it's starting to warm up would i rely on something like this to keep me from freezing absolutely not like i said i will be experimenting trying to improve on um, the design and maybe get a little extra heat out of these now the can is upside down I just drilled one hole through the center of the can and I drilled a hole through the center of this can and once again on this one here about an inch down I have some small holes drilled all the way around you can see that's not a very big flame now if you're gonna try to make a tea light or a candle heater absolutely do not use tea lights the flames are not high enough. Now remember, your average light like this, your average candle produces 100 BTUs, maybe, if you're lucky. And once again, this has been on for about an hour. And it's warm. I can keep my hand there. Now for a hand warmer, that would be absolutely perfect. But trying to warm up anything else, it's not going to work for you. you. Also, you have to realize you're working with an open flame. It's not much of one, but it is an open flame. Anytime you have an open flame, it is going to eat up oxygen. So this cannot be in a super small area that is enclosed where you can't get air. Now, like I said, it is getting warm. But it's also been on for almost an hour. But, I mean, I can, I can literally put my hand on it and nothing. It is warm. Now at the top it's really warm. So, it's something like a hand warmer. Absolutely. Would something like this work? Sure. Just to keep your hands warm you know keep your hands on it but as a heater itself 
absolutely not it, it will not produce enough heat to keep you warm like I said I will be experimenting I bought a hundred of these tea lights I will be experimenting with different ways to uh, use the tea lights and cans and possibly create more heat uh, using four or five candles possibly but once again if you're relying on something like this little bitty flame to keep you from freezing that is a really bad idea so don't let people on videos on YouTube tell you that something like this can actually keep you from freezing or keep you warm basically after an hour of being on is is a glorified hand warmer all right I'm fixing to go I apologize for the quality um, I will work on some more things and try to get something better for you to use using larger cans or a larger can with some small cans um, if you do make one of these I do have holes all around the bottom and once again where the wick uh, is burning I have holes around there so it can get air and the wick can burn so if you're wanting to build one of these that's fine but don't rely on it for like emergency heat um, it will not produce enough heat to keep you warm like I said as a hand warmer it's great after an hour it's nice and warm the tops warm I can still put my hand on it and it, it it's hot but it's not too hot I also do have a space between the cans um, I do have some small nuts and a single bolt going through the top so there is a space of less definitely probably le less than a quarter inch between the two cans that way the air can circulate and once again I will work on some things if you want a hand warmer something like this is great if you want me to show you how I built this one that's fine uh, let me know see that all the wax and I don't know if you can see the holes there yep you can see the holes I have these small holes all the way around so the heat and it's probably about an inch down from the top of the can well actually it would be the bottom of the can which I'm using for the top the heat builds up and then comes out these small holes into this larger can and warms up the larger can now see that I mean this tea light is barely just going Yeah, I think I just put my tea. No, it's still going. All right. So if you want me to show you exactly how I made this for like a hand warmer or something or emergency hand warmer, um, just let me know. And once again, I am going to be working on something much much better than this. Uh, using a larger, much larger can and some smaller cans like this can here. So hopefully I can get four, maybe five tea lights burning in that. Now that will produce a little bit more heat because the size of the flame is not very big with these. The wax just melts really quick on these cheap tea lights. And like I said, for a hand warmer, it works great. You can put your hands on the outside can here and warm them up. You can put it on the top, warm it up. You're not going to be cooking with anything like this or even heating up food or anything. Because a tea light or a, your basic candle is not going to put out enough heat. Now, if like I said, if you get a, a candle for something like this, get a candle that slow burn with a large wick 
that will produce a larger flame and that will do you a whole lot better than these like I said you can see that flame is just really tiny but it is producing enough heat with the way I have this made towards warming up the can now that's nice and warm now the bolt itself is pretty hot but the can it's it's warm it's not super hot but it's warm so if you want directions to build something like this or build something like this without um, a nut uh, nuts and bolts with just a couple cans and some aluminum foil let me know and I'll build one and I'll show it to you and I'll show you how to build that with a simple drywall screw or simple screw a couple cans and you know to make your holes you can always just punch it through it with um, I don't know uh, if you don't have a drill bit then you can punch through it with a nail or a screw and just use a screwdriver to make these holes bigger so it can get air and you can just use your drywall screw to go through the two cans and have a, some aluminum foil folded over and then set on top of this can under this can and have the drywall screw just go all the way through the two cans so you don't absolutely absolutely have to have a nut, nuts and bolts for this like I said the flame is really small don't rely on something like this to keep you warm and keep you from freezing like is a hand warmer it's great if I had thought a little bit farther ahead I would have actually got some other candles than just these because to be honest these really stink uh, they're not very good candles and they only produce a very tiny tiny flame but even with that small flame it is producing the way this is built some heat to where this can here is warming up and the bolt here is warming up now it's really not radiating I mean I can feel a little bit of heat coming out from the bottom of the can just a little bit because it's filling this can with heat and at the top it's letting that heat escape into this can and it's starting to warm up this can anyway um, I think I'll just let that run for another hour or so and then um, put it out and I will be experimenting with all these tea lights because, well, I bought a hunter pack. And hopefully I can figure something out for you that will actually help you stay warm. But something like this, sure, a hand warmer, is it's great. But as a heating solution, absolutely not. Now, if I took this same deal right here and put it on top of a stove, a uh, butane or propane stove where the heat's going up in the can and then warming this can up that may be a solution for you or even using this on an alcohol stove or uh, alcohol can that I made something like that would probably work a whole lot better than using these little cheap candles Alright, I'm fixing to go. If you want me to show you how I actually made this, um, just let me know and I'll make a video in a few days. Um, I won't be uploading anything for at least three or four days. My girlfriend's off for like five days and she's gone for a couple hours. So I figured I'd let you know what I've been up to and what I'm working on now. But like I said, a hand warmer, it's great. But you have to make sure your candle gets enough oxygen at the top and the bottom to where that candle doesn't go out. It continues to burn. And that is such a very small flame. Alright, um, I hope this didn't shake too much. I apologize for the quality. I don't want to hook all my big uh, camcorder up for this. Because I don't know when she's getting home. And I don't want stuff spread everywhere. So... Alright, 
Um, if you want me to show you how I made this or once I get some other stuff made I'll let you know if it works and if it doesn't work because I don't want you just wasting your time and thinking that something like this is gonna heat your house or even heat a room or even a small space because it's not going to alright um, I'm fixing to go and everyone have a good day bye